we're going to Cologne to Germany for the Christmas market or markets actually there are a lot of them so I'm really excited are you excited are you excited <laughs> we have already been to Cologne 2018 when we were watching Counter Strike it was a really nice city very cute very atmospheric and now it's gonna be even more so I imagine At this point, I needed the toilet urgently. We finally found a bathroom that didn't have a huge line. After that, with lifted spirits, we went for lunch in this vegan buffet. Mm -mm -mm. All different kinds of tofu and soy. Good. I, of course, managed to dip my sleeves into the food. Oh well, then we saw this huge lion statue and wanted to buy it for our balcony, but decided against it. First, we headed for Hoimarkt. Hillmarkt Christmas market because the main market was so full of people. This one had a lot of people as well, which I had expected, so we tried to enjoy the Christmas atmosphere anyway. Hello, uh, We were on a hunt to get some Christmas presents, but didn't really find anything. Someone was selling Finnish socks, which was funny. These animals were so cute, but they were made from wool, and I don't want to buy wool new, so I had to leave them there. I was enjoying my very strong glue vine though, and was definitely feeling tipsy already. Isn't that tree a bit sad looking? After a walk along the river, away from the crowds, we were ready for people again, and this time we jumped into the masses at the main Christmas market, at the Cologne Cathedral. We had not eaten a big lunch, because we had expected to find a lot of snacks at the markets, but that was actually not the case. I was quite disappointed, because I couldn't see any vegan options, and let me tell you, I have a superpower of picking up the word vegan anywhere. It was just a lot of meat, meat, meat. Matti got one pastry because they had just run out when he got to the stall. So we were just a bit unlucky today. Maybe we should have gone to the smaller markets in the city. I'm not sure. But there were some nice decorations at this market. So I did buy some. It's good we came here earlier because now it's extremely crowded, even more crowded than it was during today. So it looks really cool though, but is it worth it? Not sure. <laughs> We had walked a lot at this point, so we decided to find a cafe to rest our legs and have a snack. We found a French style bakery and I was so excited for the vegan options there. But we waited for service a long time and three people got served before me at the till. It was like I was invisible. So I have no idea what happened, but we decided to call it a day at this point. The most important part about our Germany trip, getting some snacks. back home i'm gonna show you quickly some things we bought we also bought some basic boring groceries but i'll show you the exciting bits i'm very tired i only had one cup of coffee this morning and then because of the cafe disaster 
in Cologne. I haven't had coffee since. And I also feel like I was drunk on the cool wine and I'm like coming down from that now. <laughs> anyway, this is the thing I was really excited for. I ate this every day in Austria when I was there on my Erasmus year during the Christmas season. These are so good with tea, like you can dip them into tea and it gets soft and moist and the chocolate melts a little bit. I don't know, it's just delicious. Got a few teas because I was running out. We changed the location because the coloring, the lighting was so bad. Anyway, more chocolate. These are so good as well. Um, I love the original brand, the Austrian brand, but these are good as well. Again, the Nutri score, like I don't want to know this. I just want to enjoy my chocolate waffles. I don't need to know it's the worst nutritional score, like who cares? This is my favorite chocolate. And I don't know why they don't have this in the Netherlands. Like Germany has so many vegan things in Lidl. No idea why that's not the case here. We got a huge package of pasta and this was like the same price as here. A small package. This was like half the price. I got a few drinks for myself. First, pink gin. This was my obsession in Austria as well. Me and my friend Essie drank this all the time. <laughs> so that reminds me of those great times. Then again I got Radler because I love this one. Well nothing interesting but I got Brussels sprouts as well because I haven't had this this year and I love those just like frying them on the pan with some salt and pepper also Brazil nuts super healthy I will have one now actually then we just got some bananas and whatever but I will show you what I got from the Christmas markets firstly this mug you get these mugs when you buy glue wine or any drink from the Christmas market and you pay fund so deposit for it so then you can keep it if you don't want the money back i don't think this is the nicest but i think it was quite cute and because i have a blue one so i have this from austria from klagenfurt and i think together they're quite cute we didn't find a star for our tree unfortunately we just didn't see any which is weird but i got a few decorations so well packaged so I said the it's quite basic, but I think it was cute. It's like you need <laughs> uh, it's um uh, what's the material? It's not like plastic. Ceramic or something. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um so I think that was quite cute. And then the cutest thing ever. Where's get it for me, please. Look at it! It's a flying big how cute is this? Oh my god. Look how happy he is. Let's put this on the tree. <laughs> oh, oh. So from the big and from me, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.